Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this goal planner. So let's just open a new document. Okay, so for this, if I go to layout and just go to size here, you can see I have my page set as A4. But of course, you don't have to. You can set it out in any other format you need, but you may have to adjust certain margins and sizes just to suit your needs. The other thing I'm going to do for this is I'm going to reduce the size of my margins. So I'm going to go up to margins, click on the drop down and select narrow. And as you can see, my margin sizes have decreased and my cursor is further to the top and the side of my page. So the next thing I need to do is I'm just going to press the return key once. I like to leave a space before I insert a table. Then I'm going to go up to insert table, click on the drop down, and I'm going to go all the way down to insert table. The reason for that is because it allows me to enter in exactly the number of columns and rows that I need. So for this particular design, I will need five columns and 30 rows. And then I'm just going to click OK. Now, I'm not entirely sure how your default will be set up. But mine set up so that my row height is only as high as the cursor and that for me is quite narrow. So I need to increase the height of my rows. So I'm going to select my table. I can do that by just clicking on the square at the top here or I can just simply click and drag. Then I go up to layout. And then you can see here, you can go up to height and adjust it. You can either just click on the up and down arrow or you can enter in your values. So having rehearsed this, I know that the value I need is 0.81 and just press enter. As you can see now, all of my row heights have altered and increased. The other thing to notice is that the blue or gray areas that you can see indicate where your text will end up once you type and currently it's set to the top of your cell so before I click away from this table having selected it all I'm going to make sure I'm on layout tab up here then I'm going to go to this area here and selecting one of these will tell Word where you want your text to lie within each cell so I am going to select center so now once I type all of my text will be in the center of my cell. So let's just go back to the design. And one thing to note here is that we have a central space here. Now that's still part of the table, it just doesn't have any borders at the top or the bottom of each cell. So let's just create this gap here first. So it's created between these two lines here. So I'm just going to grab this line I'm going to move it over to the center a little bit and then I'm going to grab this line here and I'm also going to move that over. Now you'll also notice on the design that everything's moved over slightly to the left just to give us a little bit more room for these actions and notes. So this won't be perfectly centered, we will just move it over to the left slightly. Now what we need to do is just get rid of these lines in between. So the way we do that is we just highlight this entire column, go over to table design, and then over to this section here. We'll be working quite a lot with this section here. And this is where all of your border adjustments and customizations will take place. So we're going to go to this icon here, borders, and click on the drop down. And I'm going to select no border. This is the quickest way to do this. Then I'm simply going to select all of these cells here because I need to put this line back here. Then I'm going to go back up to borders and I'm going to reintroduce the left border. We're going to do exactly the same with this column here. Highlight it, go back up to borders, but this time we're going to reintroduce the right border. And there you can see it's as though we've split the table in half. So now let's go up and make the goals section. So let's select these two cells and then what we're going to do is to go up to layout and we're going to merge them. 
So I'm going to go over to the merge icon and click. And that turns those two cells just into one cell. And then I'm just going to type goal. Then just go back to the design and we've got one, two, three, four cells that we need to merge in this area. So let's go back. So now what we're going to do is just click and drag and merge these two cells here. And then we're going to merge these two cells here. Merge these two cells here. And then merge these two cells here. We're then going to select all of it and then merge all of it into one complete cell. Now, if you try to merge all of those together, it will affect this side of the table as well. So that's why we merge the rows first and then we merge the columns. Then we're going to do the start and end date. So we're going to select these two cells here. And then we're going to move the cursor to the middle section here. Now, by doing this, if we just move this over, you can see because I only selected these two cells, when I move this center line here, it will only move for these two cells. If I selected more cells, the center line would come over for the exact amount of cells that I select. And once again, enter my text. So this is your start and your end date for your goal. Then going back to the design, we're going to create this space here. So what we're going to do is just get rid of these borders. So select the two cells, go back up to table design, go back over to borders and select no borders. And then once again, we need to reintroduce those other borders that we've got rid of. Go back up to borders and then select bottom border, select these two cells, and then select top border. Now, going back to the design, we're going to design this area here, and this affects one cell here, and then two, four, five cells. So we go back up, then we'll have our title cell here, so we're going to merge this one, back up to layout, click merge, then we're going to insert our text and then we're going to merge five rows here, two, three, four, five and then merge all of those cells together. Then we've got to create the gap again, which is here, just like this one. So go back up to table design, click on borders, and then go down to no borders, select this cell here, go back up to borders, select bottom border, select these two cells, go back up and select top border. Perfect. Go back to the design, and then we're going to design this section here. This is all about the difficulties and solutions that you will have with your goal. All the bold text and the bold lines we will put in at the end as well as the title. So let's go back up. Let's merge this cell here. Go back up to layout, merge. And now what we need to do is to select this column here and then move this central line over to the left. Then I'm going to enter my text. So I'm going to put D for difficulty, press my down arrow, S for solution, D, S, and all the way down. Now let's go up to this section here, go back to the design, and we're going to form this element here for our actions. So let's merge these top cells, merge, enter our text. Now if we just go back to the design, what you're going to see is we've got some larger columns here. And what we've had to do is we've had to merge the two together and then merge the two together here. So there's several different ways that you can go about merging and then reintroducing and splitting cells. So let me show you the way that I did it. 
So I simply merged all the cells. Now I've merged 16 of those columns and now I'm going to merge two at a time. So select two and merge them, select two and merge them and then continue up so you create those wider cells. Now I select all of those cells and then I'm going to split them into two. So uncheck merge cells before splitting number of columns two, click OK. And then once again, I'm going to highlight this column here so that I can just move this line across here to put in my numbers. Select the top cell, and then we're just going to hit one, down arrow, two, down arrow, three, all the way along to eight. Oh, don't know what happened there. And then of course, once we've done that, we need another space. So we're going to highlight these cells again, go up to table design, borders, no borders, select the two cells above, borders, bottom border, and then select those two cells and top border. Perfect. Go back to our design. And then we've got this notes section here. Go back up, we're going to merge these here, go to layout, merge, type in notes, and then you can leave this notes section however you like. You can move this, move this over if you want to, and you can again put numbers on it if you want to, or you can merge them in the way I'm doing now. So let's just merge them. Perfect, now let's go ahead and do all the final parts to this form. So I'm going to make all of the text bold. So I'm just gonna go along, select it, go to the Home tab, select Bold, and I'm going to use this Increase Font Size tool to make the text 14 points. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that with all of the text. Okay, so once we finish that, we're going to increase the boldness of or the thickness of the lines below the titles. So just click into the cell where you want this bottom line to change. Go up to table design and along to this section here. Go along to this point section here, the pen weight, click on the up arrow and this drop down will appear. Go down to two and a quarter points. You can have more if you wish, but I use two and a quarter points. And that will mean now that when I ask Word to introduce a border, it will introduce a border at this pen weight. So I want the line across the bottom to be thicker. So I'll go up to borders, click on the drop down, and select bottom border. And there you have a thicker border below the title. And again, we can do that here. It's the same border, so you don't have to go to the drop down. Just click. Again here, click inside the cell, click borders, click inside the cell, all the way down. Now the other thing I've done is I've just introduced some thicker borders between the difficulty and solution parts of this section here. So again, I'm going to go back to my design. So I'm going to select these two cells and then go straight back up to border. Don't have to go to the drop down and select that below that bottom border. Always on the S because it's the end of the section. And then I'm going to leave the bottom one as the rest of the borders. And now what I need to do is I'm just going to pop my cursor at the top in order to move this table down my page. So just allow a little bit more room for the title. So I'm just going to hit the return key. And again, now once I've hit it again, you can see I've introduced another page, which I don't want. So I'm just going to hit the backspace. And then it shows me how much room I have for my title. So I'm going to go up to insert, text box, click on the drop down draw text box. Then I'm going to click and drag. 
I'm going to type my title. Then I'm going to select it, go to the Home tab. Then I'm going to select a different font. I'm going to select Geneva. I'm going to select Bold. And then I'm going to go to the Increase Font Size till I'm happy. In fact, I'll take the bold off. Then I'm going to go along to Center Text. And then I'm going to go up to Shape Format. And in order to ensure that this text box is in the center of the page, I'm going to go to the Align tool here, click on the drop down, and select Align to Center, which will mean my title is in line with the center of my page. Now, as you can see, once I've clicked off this text box, it's left me with a black border and a white background. So let's click back on that text box. Make sure you're on shape format. Go to shape outline, click on the drop down and select no outline. Click on shape fill, click on the drop down and select no fill. Now you can now move this around any way you want. But since I've now centered this, all I'm going to do is use my down arrow to just move that down a little bit and then just click away and you can see where your title will be. So I hope I've given you enough tools and techniques to fully customize this to suit your own needs. If you introduce the table first, then it's really easy just to merge the cells and move all the lines around so that it caters for your customization. I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.